Okay, in this presentation, we're going to look at the hypergeometric distribution. Okay, so not dissimilar from the binomial distribution, but it's uh, well, actually, we'll sort of let's talk it through. So we have 120 applicants for a job in an insurance company, but of that 120, only 80 are actually qualified. How do we do know that? We don't really know. Just go. Let's just go along with it. So if five of the applicants are randomly selected for an in-depth interview, we'll find the probability that only two of the five will actually be qualified. Okay, so we're going to pick five people out of that uh, 120. And in that 120, only 80, 80 are actually qualified. So what is the probability of two uh, of our sample, of, of our, our pool of five applicants, what is the probability that two of that five are actually qualified so this is a case of the using the geometric uh, hypergeometric distribution so n is the total population size and k is the total number of it's the pool of it's the total sample size of one particular category the category of interest which is the uh, number of um, qualified applicants now we're going to pick pick five people. So n here, small n is equal to five, and of that, we are interested in finding out the probability that two of them are actually qualified. Okay, so it's a sort of we have a population and a subgroup of that population, and we have a sample, and we want to figure out how many people from the subgroup of the population make it into our sample. So that's the idea of a hypergeometric distribution. Okay, so this is the formula that we will be working with. Okay, and these are our key values are there that we just described. Uh, the population size, number of successes stated states success states in the population. N is the number of draws, the quantity in, drawn in each trial, and K is the observed number of successes in each trial. And we have the binomial coefficient there as well so this is what we're interested in we're looking for the probability of x equal to 2 okay now you notice that we have quite a lot going on here in terms of binomial coefficients and actually this really is a good bit of work okay just doing these by hand okay so really the binomial coefficients are the key thing here as well as just recognizing it as a, a hypergeometric distribution okay so invoking the hypergeometric distribution with x equal to 2 n equal to 5 big n equal to 120 and what's that k should be equal to 80 we will get set this up here okay so essentially what i'm going to do is break it up into chunks small chunks okay so we have three terms there and what i'm going to do is each in each of the three terms a times b over or first term times the second term all over the third term let's look at the term first term there it's 80 choose 2 that is 80 times 79 times 2 over 1 okay um if you're not familiar with how to work with binomial coefficients easily i suggest you look back at that before you continue here so i'm just going to leave that as 40 times 79 okay essentially simplify it down as much as possible because really the the number crunching here is the hard work 40 choose 2 that is 40 times 39 times 38 over 3 by 2 by 1 so breaking that down a little bit okay we get 20 times 13 times 38 and i'm going to leave it like that as well okay and so what we have now is that the denominator term is 150 choose 5, 150, uh, sorry, 120 choose 5. So again, same thing. You notice these actually get, if you try to evaluate them out, they get really hard going very quickly. Okay, so that's why I'm uh, progressively simplifying things as I go. 120 times 119 times 118 times 117 times 116. Well, as it happens... 120 cancels out with 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, so we're just left with the rest there. So our expression can be sort of uh, resolved a little bit more. Okay, 
So these are our three expressions now. That expression, that expression, and that expression. Okay. And this is what I suggest doing uh, when you do it. Just sort of break it up with the chunks. Okay. And just uh, because your calculator probably won't be able to handle it. So I just split up the, uh, the first two terms uh, from the above and below and just work that out. Okay. So that's 3,160 divided by 1,000 or 14,000 zero uh, and 14,042. Then the second bunch of terms there, that's 9,900, 9,880 divided by 13,000. 572 that's a little bit easier to work with but essentially really what i'm getting at is just break it up into stages so we get 0 0.22503 times 0 0.73533 sorry 0 0.22 i said not 0.22 but i should say 0 0.22 anyway so just working that out we get 0 0.16547 and that's the answer there so really the, the the difficulty or the hazard with regard to the binomial or the hypergeometric distribution really is just working with those numbers. So essentially what I suggest is just progressively simplify it on an ongoing basis as much as you can and just make sure you don't make any mistakes. For example, a type of mistake you might make is ending up with a really large number there like 21 or 151 or something like that just because you you know you, you made a mistake somewhere so just sort of keep track of things as you go anyway we leave it there